Cortez can be a little strange. Do you know where he was going? No, but he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. They put it up earlier today. Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um, visualize their dreams? Maybe in therapy? I don't think that's it, Charlie. Then I don't know. What poster did you say he was interested in? The one right next to the jukebox. Thanks. Anytime, April. How's work going today? Aside from the trouble with the plumbing, everything's been peaceful. Emma's here with Marcus and Isabel. Other than that, I mean, it's been a quiet morning. Everyone must be home out of the sun, yeah? Or on holiday. Perfect time for it, too. The city's just boiling in July, and it gets even hotter in August. You should have stayed out in the country until the autumn, girl. It's cooler out there, yeah? I think I prefer this heat to the heat I got at home. You're safe now, yeah? We take care of you, April. You do. I'm lucky. It's not luck. You're a good person. And you deserve good friends. You help me out when I'm in a state, yeah? You're always in a good mood, Charlie. Yeah, but you never know. You're there if I ever need you. I know that. You doing anything special tonight? Working. I should really be at rehearsal, but I need the money. I'm going home for a week before school starts in September. Right, you told me. Well, that's great. It's been years since your last trip home, right? Yeah, right. You remember well, girl. Four years. My father and I, well, we haven't been on good terms since I left. I know how that feels. Isn't it such a cliché, though? I don't look forward to seeing him again, but it will be nice to be back with the rest of the family, especially my sisters, you know, and my mom. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Why would I mind, girl? What's your take on Cortez? Why do you want to talk about Cortez? I don't know him that well. He's been around for as long as I can remember, but I really never talked to the man. Do you think he's as crazy as some people say? No, he's not crazy. Just a little eccentric. He doesn't give a donkey's ass what people think or say about him. And that's cool. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a lot more to Cortez than what he wants us to believe. That man has had an eventful life, I'm sure. Anything else that comes to mind about Cortez? What else? I don't know what to tell you, girl. When he's not talking about books, he talks about old movies. He loves the classics, calls them real art. What was it about me that made you want to be my friend, Charlie? Everything, girl. You're a sweet peach. <laughs> No, it's true. I liked you from the very beginning. When you first came into the cafe with a suitcase in each hand, lost and bewildered. God, thanks for reminding me. I was such a country bumpkin. No, everyone who comes to Venice looks like that, girl. This is the village of the damned, don't you know? <laughs> How long have you known Emma? I met Emma about a year ago when she started studying at Vava. She moved into the room just opposite mine and we became friends almost immediately. I like her a lot and the two of you are the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, Charlie. The same goes for me. Did you ever tell Emma that? Yeah, I told her and she jokes about it. That's just Emma. I know she appreciates me telling her though. Does Emma's behavior ever worry you? She can seem a little out of control from time to time, but she's smarter than people give her credit for. 
I think she's able to take good care of herself. She's a brilliant artist. Her sculptures are inventive and beautiful. I know. Sometimes I'm in awe. They just don't seem to match her personality. She's a deep person, but she hides it well. She's more comfortable being a ditzy teenager than a professional artist. But around the two of us, sometimes she lets the disguise drop. I love her when she does that. Do you like living in Venice? I love Venice. I've been here three years now, and I haven't grown tired of it yet. I don't know if I ever will. Venice is like a college campus. There are so many young people here from all over the world. And the mix of nationalities and ideologies and ethnicities is refreshing and inspiring. The fact that we're also right in the middle of one of the great cities on Earth is just a bonus. Call Newport whatever you want. At least it's alive. And there's always something going on. Yeah, Venice is my kind of place. And I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon. At least not as long as all my friends are living here. What about you, Charlie? What about me? Yeah? When was the last time you talked about yourself? I don't talk about myself, girl. You know that. Still, I'd like to talk about you for a bit. If you want. Just in general, or is there anything in particular you want to know? What's your biggest dream? A dark stage, a packed auditorium, and a single spotlight. Dancing, girl, don't you know? I'm a good dancer, but I need to be among the best to make it out in the real world. So I'll keep studying and I'll keep working as a waiter to support my studies, just like you. How did you end up in Venice? At home, there wasn't much professional training available for dancers. And my father, he was not happy about my choice of career. He wanted me to work in the factories like him and his father. Out here in Venice, everyone's got their own dreams. And people are supportive of each other no matter how crazy those dreams might be. Your dream isn't crazy at all, Charlie. You're already halfway there. But I still have a long way to go. You're right, girl. I can make it if I work hard enough. So can you. Because we're both just so damn talented. <laughs> Are you happy working here at the cafe? We make decent money, if that's what you mean. I don't want to be a bartender for the rest of my life, obviously. But yeah, I'm happy I have a job. And you work here too, so I get to hang out with my friend, right? If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Hard work and lousy pay. The hours are flexible, and like you said, I get to hang out with you and my other friends. That's all I wanted to know, Charlie. Okay. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> I have to get going, Charlie. Take care, all right? Remember, you're supposed to get paid today. Stan's not gonna remember unless you bug him about it. My boss, Stan. A hard man with a soft... Nah. He's just a callous bastard. I heard that. Uh, I knew that. What you doing here? I... You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want my employees to work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. But I'm just... Damn woman, do I have to babysit you? It's nice to see you too, Stanley. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my horse can take it. You? And nice? That's funny. No, working and not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. I thought you'd be ecstatic to have people work 24-hour shifts. 
Oh, don't get me wrong, sweetheart. There's nothing I'd want more, but you see, for some weird reason, it is illegal to make people work that long. What a downer. Yeah, I'd make you guys work triple shifts if I could. Nah, I don't think you would. I think you're a real angel at heart, Stanley. You're just afraid people will find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real goddamn sweetheart. Go on, take advantage of my kindness while I'm still out of my head. I'd like to get paid. Damn woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? God damn it. Why'd they have to make that word sound so obscene? Listen, why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? They make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Choo, choo, be good little girl, hmm? I'd still like to get paid, though. Mighty mana woman. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it! Yeah, all right. You got your time sheet? Yes? <clears throat> yes? Yes? Let's see it. God damn, you think I'm gonna take your word for a woman? <clears throat> Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word too loud, sweetheart. You're killing me. Let's see. What is this? Huh? No, 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 no. Did I sign this? What I thinking? So? At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Thanks. Thanks? Where's my money? Oh, you ain't getting it now. Next week, honey. I write down this amount in my ledger. Don't you worry your head from it. I need the money now, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we all need money now. That ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. That I quit. You're quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. Nobody quits this job, honey. I can quit. And I'm quitting. I quit. Damn, woman. You know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. <laughs> <laughs>